Nicola Sturgeon is refusing to give up on her dream for a second referendum on Scottish independence by insisting, I've got democracy on my side, despite several opinion polls showing support for a split from the UK has fallen away, the SNP won a fourth term in power during the Scottish elections in May and soon formed an alliance with the Scottish Greens to command a pro-independence majority in Holyrood. Nicola Sturgeon is insisting a referendum could still be held in 2023 COVID permitting, as promised in the SNP's manifesto. But Scotland's First Minister faces huge resistance from Boris Johnson and his UK government with the Prime Minister refusing to transfer the relevant powers to Holyrood, potentially setting up an explosive court battle over the issue. Recent opinion polls have suggested support for independence has plunged from the sustained lead recorded just last year, although a panel-based survey from September found more than 60% of those aged 16 to 34 would vote to leave the UK when undecideds are excluded. Ms Sturgeon remains undeterred by the pressure to drop her independence demands, and said, I can't look ahead and tell you exactly how this constitutional impasse is going to resolve itself. But it will resolve itself, and it will resolve itself on the side of democracy, because actually, the alternative is pretty unthinkable. I've got democracy on my side. If they think it's about playing a waiting game, I've probably got time on my side as well. You look at the demographics of the support for independence, well, I'm not sure that's going to get you out of this conundrum. She added in her interview with the Financial Times, the consequences of not being independent are much, much greater than they arguably were in 2014. Will it be worth it? Absolutely. We face change and transition now, whatever we do. Last month, the Scottish Government ramped up its push for independence by announcing it would resume work on a detailed prospectus that would ensure a referendum debate would be fully informed. Queen Margaret A. II to bring Karen Blixen's image creating worlds to life in Netflix film. Mm -hmm.